Hello students, welcome to the class. I'm Dr. Sonia Kaur Bansal and today I will be teaching you the topic the active and passive voice in English grammar. So students, today's uh, learning objective of my class would be to define what voices of verbs are. We will also learn to differentiate active voice from passive voice. We will also convert an active voice sentence to passive voice sentences. And we will also learn to convert a passive voice sentence to an active voice sentence. So students, remember that active voice and passive voice, this topic is very important from your examination point of view of any competitive exam or maybe it is just for the knowledge of how this voice is actually spoken. So students, all of you get ready and I really hope that you will listen attentively and will do lots of exercises to understand the uh, active and passive voice concept. All right, students. So now let's start and study active and passive voice. Before that, just understand what are the voices of verb. So, in traditional grammar students, voices of verb is defined as the quality of verb that indicates whether its subject acts or it's acted upon. So, it has two types, the active voice and the passive voice. So, there is something that uh, the way we communicate with each other, active and passive voice plays an important role. Just imagine students that uh, you are studying in um, school level and whatever your friends tell you, or maybe you are studying in higher studies, whatever your friends tell you, you are going to tell it to your parents or anybody else. And then how do you speak to them? When I'm telling you something and then you have to pass it to someone else, how you are going to convey? There are, there are two ways. One, the as it is words which I have spoken to you and you are conveying it to your parents or anybody else to whom you want to convey my message. The one is th one thing is that, that you are quoting my words as it is. The another thing is that, that you will not quote my words and then you will convert my words into your own voice and then you will convey my message in that way. So these are called the voices of verbs students. So it has two types, active voice and the passive voice. So understand it in a more elaborate way and uh, just uh, understand that how this is very important in communication. So uh, let's understand that active voice means that a sentence has a subject that acts upon its verb. That means subject is acting upon its verb. That means something is spoken by the subject and that is quoted well. But in passive voice students, it means that a subject is a recipient of a verb's action. And you may have learned that the passive voice is weak and incorrect. But it isn't, it, isn't it that simple? When used correctly and in moderation, the passive voice is a fine one. So this is how active and passive voice are defined in its terms. So in, in English grammar, verbs have five properties. Students, first is voice, then mood, then tense, then person. And number. So here we are concerned with the voice and the two grammatical voices are active and passive voice. So let's understand it. Now, before uh, telling you the how to use the active and passive voice or how to convert the active sentence into passive sentence. Or how to convert the passive sentence into active sentence. First of all, we must know about when to use active and passive voice. So using the active voice conveys a strong, clear tone. And the passive voice is a subtler and weaker one. 
so here is some good advice for you students don't use the passive voice just because you think it sounds a bit fancier and the active voice okay so then the active voice you just uh, be natural in your communication that said there are times the passive voice is useful and call for take the squirrel was chased by the dog for example this is a sentence the squirrel was chased by the dog that sentence construction would be really helpful if the squirrel were the focus of your writing and not the dog so when you are focusing on particular thing and when you are not so it matters a lot so it is not every time you, you are going to use active and passive voice so rather it is be comfortable with active only but when it is used so just remember where is your focus so in this case you just uh, use passive voice if your focus of writing is squirrel not the dog so a good role of thumb is to try to put the majority of sentences in active voice only unless you truly can't write your sentences in any other way clear students now let's understand the active voice first of all i'm going to explain you how it is and then i'm going to explain you how the passive voice is so we are going to understand it in a very gradual and practicing manner so i hope you will understand it so first of all the active voice active means something active in action okay so the active voice is a normal voice normal uh, spoken uh, sentence which a person is speaking and this is the voice students that we use most of the time in the active voice the object receives the action of the verb so this is how one example is in front of you quoted marlin mailed the letter now you just uh, divide this uh, sentence into subject verb and object then you will come to know how it is active in its voice so marlin is a subject and verb is mailed and object is the letter so it means the object letter is receiving the action of the verb so action is emailing or mailing so marlin mailed the letter it means the verb is mailed and mailed is actually object is letter and object is receiving the mail so this is how action is being done in that way so it is directly spoken marlin mailed the letter that's it but when we are uh, focusing more on the subject that is marlin here you will find that marlin is more important than the letter so marlin mailed the letter that's more important who mailed the letter marlin all right students so this is active voice now there are some another examples you just have a look on them uh, so the dog jumped onto the boy so the dog is the subject is doing the jumping work and that is the action verb onto the boy that is the object then christy will give a book report to the class christy is the subject is doing the giving giving is a verb here to the class and class is a object so that means subject verb and object they are arranged in the sentence in a very natural way in a very normal way and the verb is actually uh, giving some verb to the object so that is how active voice is in very natural form now steps on how to convert active to passive just uh, uh, have a look on the brief uh, scenario how we are going to change it then in detail we will discuss more first is move the active sentence direct object into sentence subject slot you can see active voice sentence when it will be changed into passive voice it will be changing its object into subject number one rule you must remember that active sentence direct object will be the passive voice sentence subject slot okay 
Now, so you just have this example. Active voice, Marlin mailed the letter. In this sentence, direct object is letter. But when we are converting this sentence into passive voice sentence, then this uh, direct object, the letter, this will be converted into subject. So, the letter was mailed by Merlin. This would be uh, the correct sentence. So, how it is going to change, we are going to discuss now. So, next second rule you must know, place the active sentence subject. Whatever is spoken in active sentence, you just place that sentence subject into a phrase beginning with the preposition by. So remember, when we are converting active voice sentence into passive voice, then we are using the preposition by. Clear? So here you can check the example. Marlin mailed the letter. And here is the subject, Marlin. And now this Marlin will be gone to the object's place in passive voice sentence and this will create a prepositional phrase by using by with them. All right. So, Marlin mailed the letter. So, we started it with the letter dash by Marlin. So, this is how the prepositional phase, phrase will be more and more useful in passive voice. Now, third important rule that you must remember add a form of auxiliary verb to be to be to the main verb and change the main verb's form now here it is very important to notice in which tense in which form this active voice sentence is if it is in present then auxiliary would, verb will also be in present tense Auxiliary verbs are students is, am, are and in past tense they are was, were according to the singular and plural and future will be and shall be they will be used. Okay. So if the active voice Marlin mailed the letter you can see here mailed is a verb and this is in past tense that means this work has already been done so now in that case marlin mailed the letter so we have already seen two rules the letter that was the ob direct object in active voice sentence we have converted it into um, subject in passive voice and then by marlin prepositional phrase we have used by using by plus subject of the active voice okay so the letter was mailed by marlin now you are using verb plus be auxiliary now the important thing here to remember change your auxiliary verb according to the tense of the active voice sentence clear students so these are very simple rules and if you practice more and more you will understand how it is converted now what is a passive voice we have seen active voice what it is and we have seen that it is a very normal way of speaking if anyone is speaking by his own and her, it is a very normal way. But what is a passive voice? So let's understand it also in detail. Now students, passive voice is less usual. It is not normal in its form. So in the passive voice, the subject is receiving the action of the verb. Just try to make a very clear difference. When we studied about active voice, we studied that object was receiving the action of the verb. But here we are talking that the subject is receiving the action of the verb. So we use the passive voice when we want to make the active object more important. So this is actually depends on us that to whom, to what we want to focus. Are we really want to focus on the object or are we really want to focus on the subject? 
only then you need passive voice otherwise you need to uh, quote the things in active voice only so there is a question there is example in front of you just check it out the letter was mailed by marlin this is the passive voice sentence and now you can see the division of subject verb and object in a sentence that the subject has now become the letter verb is was mailed that we have already converted in active to passive voice an object is now here become by marlin so this is how the focus is shifted from marlin to the letter the letter was mailed by marlin so now if we ask by whom this letter was mailed so this is marlin or what was mailed by marlin the letter so the focus is really shifting from subject to object clear students now see some more examples in front of you boy was being jumped being jumped on that is verb by the dog is object so the boy was jumped on by the dog a book report will be given by christy to the class so report subject it is subject will be given is a verb and by christy now you have to notice this thing students that when we are talking about it so i i had already told you that we have to be focus on the tense of the active voice so in which tense either it is present past or future the same tense we are going to apply in the passive voice as well clear students now next now let's have a look on how to go on the steps on how to convert passive voice sentence into active voice sentence so rule one you must understand that move the passive sentence subject into the active sentence direct object slot you can see passive voice is changing now into active voice so both type of practices you must do first one active to passive and then passive to active so both ways you must get mastery over it to just be very well versed with the active and passive voice concept so here the passive voice is the letter was mailed by merlin now we are going to change it into active so the rule is working here the passive sentence subject which is now the letter okay so the letter will be into active sentence direct object slot so just so understand in a vice versa situation that whatever is here in subject in active voice it will be in object form it will be direct object now clear students now rule number 2 remove the auxiliary verb be you have to remove that be was or is or am or are whatever you are using from the main verb and change main verbs from form if needed so now the letter was spell this was be auxiliary and we have to remove it in the active voice so we are just going to change the form main verbs form because here it is was it is well understood that it is from past tense and in past tense if we are not using was then definitely simple past tense will work in active voice that is by adding ed to the verb mail was mailed so mail the letter will be correct in active voice so auxiliary verb will also be removed in active voice sentence now let's uh, have a look on the rule number 3 so place the passive sentence object of the preposition by into the subject slot now this is by merlin object or preposition by so we we talked about prepositional phrase that was by merlin now we are removing by when we are converting the passive voice sentence into active voice so merlin will become now subject slot in the active voice and by will be removed so understood students so this is very simple if you practice more and more about it all right
Now, students, just have a look in present, past, future, and conditional sentences in finitive to be watched. So, this is how it is going to be changed in your active and passive voice subjects. If you look at them with one example, you will be able to do uh, more uh, in the same way with many examples. Now, we have a simple tense, continuous tense, perfect simple tense and perfect continuous tense. So, how it is done in the active to passive voice, you have to understand that. Now, in simple present tense, if it is written, it is washed. Past tense, it will be, it was washed. And in future tense, it will be, it will be washed. And in conditional sentences, it would be washed. And if you are talking about continuous tense, so present tense would be, it is being washed, B plus ing. So we are using the sentences like that. But in past tense, it was being washed when you are changing, uh, changing active sentence into passive voice. Then in future, it will be being washed. Conditional sentence, it would be being washed. So this is how your active sentences would be changing into passive voice. Then in perfect simple case, present tense, it has been washed. It had been washed in past tense then in future it will have been washed in conditional it would have been washed now in present it has been being washed so this is how perfect continuous uh, condition will be working in present tense and in past tense it had been being washed then in future tense it will have been being washed in conditional cases it would have been being washed now you have seen how you are going to change the words according to the form of the verb tense in the active voice. Clear students? Now let's have a look in a very clear way. Now till now we have understood that active and passive voice are made up of voice. That we speak something. Voice that is coming out from our mouth. Whatever we are speaking, there are two ways. So, understand it now in that way. So, uh, there are two ways of voice. One is active. That is directly being done by the subject. And another is passive. That is the focus is on the action. So, this is simple thing that you must understand when we are understanding about active and passive voice. So, this is how students, you must remember that active means um, focus is on subject and passive means focus is on action. Now, active sentence is here, Ram killed Raman. That means students that focus is on Ram which, who is subject in first sentence or, or the active sentence. But in the second sentence, Ravan was killed by Ram. Now, now the focus is shifted on the action. Ravan was killed. This is an action. By Ram, we have used prepositional phrase. By Ram. So, we have converted the active sentence into passive, passive voice. And by following the rules which I have just told you. Now, how to change from active to passive? Just let's have a look on more and more practice. Now, look at this statement. Ram killed Ravan. So, there are sub, there are subject is Ram, verb is killed, and Ravan is object. So, Ravan was killed by Ram. Now, here, a object has become the subject of the active voice sentence. That is, Ravan has now become object here. Was killed by Ram. B verb, auxiliary verb, which I have told you that is here. Was killed verb, verb's third form. If I am if writing we verb three, that means verb's third form will be used with was or B verb. By Ram is the subject now changed here. So Ram killed Ravan. Ravan was killed by Ram. This is the way how we are going to change the active sentence into passive sentence. 
Now, let's have more, more examples. She helps him. So, him will be converted into he because now we have changed the direct object into subject slot. So, him is used for male. So, that's why we are using he. But if it would have been here, she helps her. That means, her means uh, female. So, we, we would have used here she. But now, in, the, in this case, she helps him means he is helped by her. Next example, students, I'm buying a pen. So, a pen is being bought by me. Now, you have just notice the structure of the passive voice and active voice as well. I am buying a pen. Now, buying is verb plus ing form. And it is in present continuous tense. So, it will be in continuous form only. And when there is ing with with verb in active voice sentence, then we are definitely going to use B plus ing form. Being, that is being plus third form of the verb in the passive voice sentence. So, a pen is uh, put into subject slot, a pen as, why we have used is with this sentence? Because I am, that is not a uh, past tense and it is present tense. So, a pen is being bought by me. Clear? This is something not usual that how do we speak. But when we want to ch learn how to change active from passive. So, this is the proper method you must learn. So, that's why it is to told to you that active voice is more normal to learn. Alright. Now, next example you must look at that. He has to teach us. He has to teach us. That means we have to be taught by him. So, us is required to put into subject slot. So, us passive voice will be we and have to be taught. Hey, because have to. Why there is have to be? Because has to there in the active voice. So, it would be have to be because we is the plural. And we can't use has with we. And we have to be using, we uh, have to be taught by him. B plus taught. So, B plus third form of the verb will always be there. Now, next is someone is following us. So, we are being followed. Now, active sentence, see the structure, how it is. It will be subject plus verb plus object. But in passive voice, the structure, what it would be followed, object plus B plus verbs third form, plus by subject. That is prepositional phrase. By is a preposition. And when we are adding subject with that, so we are making that prepositional phrase. All right, students. I hope you have understood this much. So let's proceed further. Now, students, let's have focus on very common rule. And what is the common rule here? Bring the object first. Choose correct B verb. What I have defined you, I am just repeating it so that your practice will be more and more enhanced. And if you are doing it with me, then definitely your practice will be up to the mark. So, bring the object first and choose correct B verb. That is dependent on your tense form of the verb, how it is used. Then change verb into participle, add by plus subject. So, object plus V plus verb, verb start form plus by subject. Now, you can uh, very well understand it with the example given to you on your screen. She helps him. Now, with arrow, you can very well understand she is changed into subject or from subject slot to object slot. And it has become by her. Helps as it is present tense, simple present tense. So, it is, is helped. So, B form is used and plus verb third form is used. And him is put into a subject slot from the object slot. So, he is helped by her. Now, look how subject and object change. You have to remember all these things very clearly how 
the subject and object change from active to passive voice students so i changes into me we changes into us you remain same in uh, passive voice also they becomes them he becomes him she becomes her ram will be ram uh, it means name will be name noun will not be changed name of person place or thing they will be same they will not be changed in any case clear students so now let's understand further if there are two objects in a sentence how you are going to convert it so that's really very interesting as well as important in understanding active and passive voice so use any one clear now let's have a look on that we she told us a story you can see that there are two objects in this sentence one is us and another is a story so we are having two objects here so now the sentence in passive form would be we were told a story by her or a story was told to us by her there are two different methods now see second example they appointed him as an ambassador so i told you that if there are a, two subjects or uh, two objects students in one sentence then you are required to choose any one subject and then start with that in passive voice sentence clear and it means also that you can frame two passive voice sentences from out of one one each object so as you can see in another example they appointed him an ambassador so first example would be of passive voice he was appointed an ambassador and there is no need to add by them at, as it is understood so we are just leaving that they all right and another way to convert this active voice sentence into passive voice is that an ambassador was appointed to him clear students now next example you must have look upon that the story has taught us a good lesson so there are two objects again one is us and another one is a good lesson so one example would be we have been taught a good lesson by this story just remember before using the prepositional phrase you will be using both objects so you can see the underlined objects in both type of sentences and then in second sentence it would be converted somehow a good lesson has been taught to us by the story so clear students this is how the both sentences are changed now use of has have had is am are was were to plus verbs first form so so she has to help us we have to be helped by her so this is the way how we are going to change and the rest of the rules will be same we have to learn english there is one object but how we are going to change it so english has to be learnt and there is no need to use by us we are leaving it because english has to be learnt and that simply understood that we are leaving by us i had to wait for the bus the bus had to wait if by me or it must be awaited so has have had to plus verbs first form is called to has have had plus to plus be or plus verbs third form be three means verbs third form clear students now next is let's understand about model auxiliary verbs in detail i have already told you that you have to change your model auxiliary verb according to whatever is given in active voice so let's have a look on that the model auxiliary verbs are can could shall should may might will would and must clear 
so verbs first form model plus b plus verbs third form so she can speak chinese here the model verb is here can speak so it means in that can speak is a present tense verb uh, sentence and in that we are going to change auxiliary verb can be spoken because we are not going to change its form otherwise if it would have been in past tense we would have changed uh, if it would have been like that she could speak chinese so chinese could be spoken by her but we are using the same can because it uh, in active voice it is given as in present tense we must preserve the tigers the tigers must be preserved so this is how model auxiliary verbs will be used in a sentence now use of must have should have could have, might have, would have plus verbs third form equals to must have, should have. They will be changing it into passive voice. It will be converting into must have, should have, could have, might have, would have plus been. Now you will be using been here as an aux um, auxiliary verb. So been plus verbs third form. You can see from example now, he should have stolen my pen. This is the active voice and passive voice. My pen should have been stolen by him. So you can see this is very simple. If you practice that how should have is also used and rest of the rules are same. My pen is converted into uh, from object slot to subject slot and should have been is here in place of should have stolen so should have been stolen and by him all right students now next example they must have left any sign so passive voice sentence would be any sign must have been left so this is how it is going to be converted by using been plus third form of the verb now here no need to add by plus subject if the subject is that's what i have been telling you earlier also if the subject is we they someone somebody none nobody everybody people etc if these type of words you see in subject then there will be no need to add by plus subject that means we do not need prepositional phrase in the passive voice object it is well understood by its own that it is a statement affirmative statement that is proven so for example they have stolen my pen now no need to uh, add by plus subject in this sentence in the object of passive voice and the sentence would be correct if it is my pen has been stolen the next is they must have left any sign so any sign must have been left now students let's have a look on negative sentences how we are going to do it uh, from active to passive sentences so negative sentences remain negative they have not stolen my pen so my pen has not been stolen you are not going to change negative from positive whatever voice is there in active negative or positive you will keep same you will not change it all right so negative sentences will be negative only in passive voice also so next example you can see they must not have left any sign any sign must not have been left so next is anybody has done homework homework has not been done so this is how the negative sentences remain negative in the passive conversion also now look at this table students active and passive as well now simple present verb plus first form then object plus is am are plus verbs third form then present continuous if there are is am are or and verbs first 
uh, ing form then in passive voice object plus is and are plus being plus verb third form will be used then if it is present perfect has plus have has or have plus verb third form then in the passive voice object will be definitely first and has have plus been plus verb third form will be there and in the present perfect it the structure would be somehow like this has have plus been plus v, verbs ing then not used commonly so this is somehow we are actually escaping so this is how we are working according to the structures also now this is simple past tense and we are going to change it in the same way like simple past verb second form is there and in passive voice object was were verb third form is here then in past continuous was were plus uh, verbs plus ing is there then in passive voice it would be object plus was plus uh, maybe it is were according to the singular or plural plus being plus verbs third form so remember all these structures very well then in past perfect had plus verbs third form is found in active voice sentence then in passive voice it would have been object plus had plus been plus verbs third form then past perfect had plus been plus verbs ing so not used commonly now you can see how active and passive voice in simple future so let's have a look with examples simple future will shall plus verbs first form in passive voice object plus will oblique shall plus be plus verbs third form and in future continuous the structure would be somehow will shall plus verbs plus b plus verbs ing form so not common in passive voice and this is not common so in future perfect uh, sentence will oblique shell plus have plus verbs third form is found and in passive we are going to use object plus will plus uh, ob oblique shell plus have been plus verbs third form and now in future perfect will uh, shall have been verbs ing so and this is a sentence not used very commonly now you can have you can see example of the first and second what i am telling you she will write beautiful poems this is a simple future tense and now we are going to change it according to the given structure so beautiful poems will be written by her and this is according to the structure which i have told you just now in the second sentence he will have done homework and the passive voice would be according to homework will have been done by him so this is how active to passive conversion is very simple very easy students once it is understood in a very depth way so look at these example students she will write poems beautifully and in another sentence poems will be beautifully written by her so beautifully is an adverb and it goes just before the verbs third form, form not after that so you can see that there is verb in the passive voice sentence return is the verb so written before written we are writing beautifully as per the rule and this is the adverb which goes just before the verbs third form then in next sentence he handled the load carefully and here again you will see an adverb carefully and the passive voice sentence would be somehow the load was carefully handled by him so the load was carefully handled by him that means it handled is verb third form and if we are using any adverb in the sentence which is already been used in the active passive active voice and when we are using it in passive voice as well so we are using adverb just before the verb third form clear students 
So I really hope you have understood well. Now let's have a look on the passive of yes or no question. Now there are some sentences and you need to change them into passive voice. So just have a very observant look on these type of sentences, how they are converted. Now, the first sentence is, can you speak English? Now, the focus is really on English. Okay. Now, if you are changing this active voice question into passive voice question, so we can ask somehow, can English be spoken by you? So, English is direct object in uh, active voice question. But now, can would be at the same place, question word would be at the same place, but we are taking the direct object as a subject. And again, B plus third form of the verb plus prepositional phrase. And as I have told you, you will be you in the passive voice also. So the correct sentence, correct passive voice sentence would be, can English be spoken by you? Now, next is, has he helped them? So, the answer is, have they been helped by him? So, you can see, whatever the auxiliary verbs are here, we are starting questions by them only. So, this is how you are going to convert your question interrogative sentences into passive voice. Clear? Now, in the third type of sentence, did you help him? Then in simple past tense, we are going to change. Did would be changing into was. Was he helped? As we all know that when we are using did, then there will be always subjects first form. Uh, verbs first form, sorry. So there will, will always be verbs first form. So in the first sentence, you have seen, did you help him? There is did and there is help because subjects form. Subject plus verbs first form is used. But in passive voice, we will ask, was he helped? Now, did has been, did has been converted into subject second form. Okay. Now, so was he helped by you? So the structure would be somehow do, does plus subject plus verbs first form plus object. So it would be changing into is MR plus object plus verbs third form plus question mark. But if there is past tense question, did plus subject plus verbs first form plus object. So this will be changed into was, were plus object plus verbs third form. Clear students? So this is how the active passive voice is really very interesting if you do lots of practice. Now some example of yes or no you can see are they planting trees? So the question will be are trees being planted? Now see the rules are working same. Just only the formation is changed. Did they tell anything? Was anything told? Then didn't uh, he buy anything? Wasn't anything bought by him? Will he bring the book? Will the book be brought by him? Now passive of WH questions. Why are they planting trees? Why are trees being planted? What did they tell you? What were you told? Who questions are changed in two ways? Similar to yes or no in the same way. Who opened the door? Who was the door opened by? Or it may be by whom was the door opened? So this is how WH question is also changed in active to passive voice. Now, passive of dub, who question, who opened the door? Then it may, will be converted, who was the door opened by? Or it may be, by whom was the door opened? And the second form is really the more in use. Who plus B plus object plus verb third form plus by. Or it may be, by whom plus B plus object plus verb third form. Passive of imperative or let. So now here the uses of imperative sentences. Open the door. So in that case we are using let. And then object will be same. 
and then v plus verb third form so let the door be open would be correct imperative passive voice sentence let's see next example let him open the door let the door be open by him so let is important in converting the active sentence of imperative case into passive voice so let plus object plus b plus verb third form plus by plus subject is really very necessary in these type of sentences now voice change some examples did you teach us and if it is being changed were we taught by you then another example she has to prepare food food has to be prepared by her we told you about the accident by who told you about the accident by whom were you told about an accident people are destroying the jungle the jungle is being destroyed so this is how students the active and passive voice uh, exercises will help you to remain more communicative and more efficient more effective in your speech and it is really very important to learn how to convert active sentences into passive sentences so students just remember that nothing is impossible if you practice and if you are practicing you will really be perfect uh, on one fine day clear students so just practice more and more about active and passive voice sentences and keep for uh, learning that so we have come to the end of the class now so see you in the next class students till then stay safe stay healthy and be happy and keep learning thank you students